Hello and welcome to this short appendix presentation for IoT Security Part 2, the malware. In the last Tech Talk, we looked at how to identify malware on any, and especially on IoT endpoint devices, through its behavior with the HPE security offering DNS Malware Analytics. We also touched on the aspect of remediation and learned that HPE ArcSight ESM can trigger an automatic remediation action in HPE Aruba ClearPass Policy Manager to contain the infected endpoints and avoid the breach. In this session, we want to focus on this functionality and get a better understanding on how that works under the hood. In a simple lab setup, we have an Ubuntu Linux host that simulates the IoT endpoint. It is connected to an HPE Aruba switch, whereas the Aruba ClearPass Policy Manager will authenticate that host through the switch and grant network access as a AAA and network access control server. The host then will be infected with a Zeus malware sample. That gets detected by ArcSight DMA and ArcSight ESM will auto-trigger a quarantine action in Aruba ClearPass via its REST API. To call the REST API, we will use a Python script that is installed on the ArcSight ESM server. Once the quarantine action is applied, the infected host will have limited network access and will only be able to communicate to a dedicated quarantine network. Now let's jump right into the demo. On the left side we have the switch's command line interface and on the right side we see the Ubuntu Linux host that represents the IoT endpoint. The host is not powered on yet and so it is not yet authenticated on the switch and the client's table is empty. So let's power on the Ubuntu host. And see if it got an IP address from the DHCP server. The IP address is 10.0.4.100. Let's issue the same show port access command on the switch again to see if it is there now. And sure enough, it is there and the Aruba ClearPass Policy Manager pushed it into the right access group. Let's have a quick look on the Aruba ClearPass Policy Manager and browse to the endpoints to check for our endpoint host. And we can see basic information about that host. Please note that the host has no attributes yet. This will be important later, when this host gets tagged infected. To monitor its network access, we will start a ping from the Ubuntu host to the IP address 10.0.1.1. Ok, let's revisit the ArcSight ESM console and check the correlation rule that will trigger the script which will push the respective host into quarantine. As described in the previous video, it is a very simple rule that will trigger every time a DNS malware analytics event comes in to quarantine that infected host. The correlation rule action will execute the script and pass the IP address and the infection type from the DMA event to the script. With that mechanism I can pass whatever information from the ArcSight event to an external script. Ok, let's close this out again, so that we only see the active channel that will alert us each time this correlation rule triggers. And in the background I will start the Zeus malware on the host to see the quarantine action in real time. And sure enough, here we see the base event and the correlated event that triggered the script. Let's also take a short look at the script itself. 
Here is the main section where we see the command sequence. It is pretty straightforward. Using the Aruba ClearPath REST API, first we get the MAC address for the respective IP address that we passed to the script, and then we send a re-authentication signal to tag the host with the attributes that we also passed to that script. And so the infected host got pushed into a quarantine network zone and the IP address that we pinged is no longer accessible. Revisiting the switch, we can see that the host got assigned a different role with a respective quarantine access control list. Let's revisit the Aruba ClearPath Policy Manager and see what happened there to make it all possible. First of all, our endpoint got tagged with the attributes that we passed from ArcSight ESM to mark it infected. Note the attribute threat severity equals high. Because we used a very simple role mapping. If the threat severity is high or critical and ClearPass authenticated that host, it is assigned the role IoT Quarantine and it has limited network access. Else, it will always be mapped to the role IoT endpoints with full network access. Last but not least, let's see if access to the quarantine host still works. That quarantine network could also be a honeypot network to do further analytics on the malware behavior and or catch the bad guy in the act. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Angelo Brancato and I'll talk to you soon. Ciao!